Hello everyone, this is the second part of the extensive Grim Dawn guide. So, got rid of Blade Arc, and that's basically all I really did. This is um, going to be the guide um, video, of course, like I just said, and it's going to be a good video, it's going to be an amazing video, it's going to be an amazing series, and I'm going to enjoy doing this guide for all of you guys. Yeah, suicidal blitz into a bunch of those mother effers, and then they blow up in my face. Anyway, I'm gonna go off my script now, well, just to tell you guys thank you for 50 plus subscribers, and thank you for everything, I really, really love how I hit 51, not even 50, 51, <laughs> and it's just awesome. I was like, hey, I just saw a bunch of people subscribe to me, let me see how many I have, I had like, what, 48 before, and I was like, hmm, this says 51, I don't believe it, it goes on YouTube, checks it out, holy shit, yeah, anyway. Um, okay, let's begin. This is Milton Hart. We're gonna go kill him real fast. And that's basically it. Then we're going to go and grab... Is this better? No. Same. Okay, so then we're going to go and grab the next uh, rift. Which, of course, um, well, I'll just tell you, it's not um, infested with tons of enemies. Ow, 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 okay, yeah, I hate Milton Hardy. He does a lot of damage. Put up my overguard here. Trying to mitigate the hundreds of damage he's dealing to me right now. Bitch, I can deal hundreds of damage too if I felt like it. Hundreds, man, hundreds. Boom. Alright, that's good. Take the scrap, take the note, take the amulet. And good, very nice. I would take that honestly over what I have right now. I like that better. It has health percent, defensive ability percent, and piercing retaliation, which is just fine. Very nice. And I'll equip what I have. I'll equip this over that. Ah, oh, man, I don't have enough. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just equip this for now then. Yeah, and then I wouldn't have enough for that, I don't think. Nope. Okay, very good. Let's equip this and do some more damage. Very nice. Toss out all the old stuff, I think. That's worse. It's worse. It's worse. Okay. I'm not gonna waste too much time here like I am, but... Anyway, what you want to do is come over here. There should be a chest. Well, should be. Or something of the sword layer's chest. Yep, and now you're getting am ambushed by a bunch of enemies. Stop puking on me, you piece of dirt. Boom. Just beat the crap out of them. Get them all out of the way. Alright. We're gonna take a little bit of a scenic route here. I'm gonna add this to my guide. I don't think I wrote this on my guide. So I will write this on my guide afterwards. The guide's being improved upon and the guide's being reworked and rewritten constantly by me. Of course, just by me because I'm the one that's writing it. But yeah. It'll get better as time goes on. You guys can tell me what I missed, what I should rewrite into there. And I'll go along with whatever you guys tell me to do. This is a community guide, by the way. It's not just me. It's going to be everyone here, all of my subscribers, everyone's watching, pitching in to help me out here. Because we're going to make an extensive guide together. It's not just going to be one of us. And make sure you're picking up the slith necklaces. I only have one right now. But it's all fine. Come on. There we go. Some tonics. Very nice. What I'm looking for right now is... There we go. There's the little boss that I was looking for. High level. Level 10. Put up my overguard here. Yeah, it doesn't take much damage from me at all. 
only my blitz is dealing the true amount of damage to it, and that fire aura really hurts. I'm gonna have to take a potion in just a second here. There's my uh, men here's will going up and down. There we go. Got him. D's undead. Hey, got him. No, I'm joking. Anyway. Um. That's pretty nice, but I'm not two-handed at the moment, and I don't want to be two-handed. That's not the kind of build I'm going for here. Nice. This will be added to the guide, by the way. Don't worry about that. Today we're gonna go kill Villoth. Now this is the foggy bank waypoint. I told you guys to double back here when you have three uh, slith amulets, but for now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. If you don't have three slith amulets, come up here and you're going to kick all these slith's ass. And you'll get a message on screen as you probably just saw that um, this carnage looks recent or something to that effect. So what you want to do is you want to go to the right first and then you want to go to the left. I'll show you exactly where to go, of course. I will be your guide, as my character's name is Guide, after all. Damn, these guys take a lot of damage to kill. Thank god for my blitz dealing so much damage, right? Jeez. Okay, um, yeah, go over here. This is one spot that the guy can be, but I don't see him. Let's just check it out just a little bit more. Take care of all these guys. Damn, I thought that blitz would level me up there. Nope. There we go. That blitz leveled me up, though. I am pretty tanky, as you can see with my overguard up and everything. Oh, Brandon, you're so sexy and tanky, I love you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, you just want to take out these guys. I'll add this shrine to the guide as well. Not shrine, but it's technically an altar. Yeah, an altar, okay. I'll add all this to the guide. Maybe I'll even do it during the video so I don't forget. <laughs> I might actually just do that during the video because I'm terrible and I forget things all the damn time. Um, yeah, anyway, let's put three more points into here. Oh, wait. One point into here. Two points into here. Okay, very good. Now we can equip this. Barely, but we can equip it. Very nice. More armor. More armor is always good, just break all the stuff, hopefully you get another scrap. If you don't have five, I have nine, which is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Now that we've gone to the right, I'm gonna just check one more time. I'm gonna go up here, just in case, since he could be up here as well. Doesn't seem to be, but I have to check. Could be up here as well. No, he's not up here. Put up my overguard. Make sure you're using uh, overguard a lot. Like, not on cooldown, but when you're surrounded by this many enemies, make sure you keep it up if you're a soldier, really. It's just really useful, and it's just... Just keep it up. It's really good. Probably should have taken the food ration, but I'm kind of self-conscious about taking food rations for no good reason other than I'm not going to come back to get it later. Like, I don't want to take it because my um, constitution bar is not even close to down at all. So we have a good amount of health, a little bit over a thousand right now. And we're just beginning. Now, surrounded by these smaller enemies, I wouldn't use overguard, honestly. Now, let's check the left side. He has to be in here. Yeah, I see him. Okay. Break the scrap pile. Combat pants. Those have a lot of armor. Yes, indeed. 
I'll definitely quit those for that armor boost. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, very good. Nice, an ornate chest, uh, strong box. That's pretty rare to find it. I mean, yes, it could spawn right next to him. There's always a chest that spawns next to him, as far as I know. But it's very rare that it's an ornate box, because that's the best kind of uh, strong box that you can find. That, like, just random strong boxes. I, at least I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh, that health bonus, though. Ooh, that bonus though. <laughs> well, it's all it's all good. I don't need it. Okay, what you want to do is don't rob him, please, for the love of God. Like I'm too kind to everyone here, but just don't rob him. I don't know what happens if you rob him, but I'm not going to. Just take him back to the darn place, please. Okay, go into the cave entrance. I can't remember, but there might be a shrine in here. I'm gonna have to. Uh, write that into the guide if there is a shrine in here since I'm going all um, I'm doing this all based off of memory by the way I know I keep saying that but I keep doing this and I'm writing the guide based off of my memory of the game and everything that it has in it so there there's many things that I can improve and many things that can be better and many things that can be added in it might take a little while for me to upload videos like this, and it might take me like three or four days, maybe even five, six, seven days per video, because I'm busy rewriting and editing the, um, and, um, rewriting the guide. And not just that, I might even remake the whole damn video, honestly. Like, I've done that. I've actually done the first part of the video, like, over and over again, because there are some things that I was really pissed off at myself because I missed, like, quite a few important things. This guy's a good, uh, teacher for the Viloth fight that's coming up soon. He basically fights just like Viloth, and he's very hard to kill. He's also level 11, while we're only level 9, which seems to be a theme here, fighting things that are two levels above. Now, you want to get out of that circle. That circle's deadly as hell. It'll freeze you in place and do a lot of damage. Ow, son of a bitch, man. Ugh. Yeah, this guy freezes and slows that freaking thing right there when he lifts his arms. It's just like, cool, freeze. Every time. Okay, use a potion there. God, that was too close. Get out of here, you piece of crap. Probably should filter out all the yellows by now, but I tend to find better yellows still, it seems. Ah, that's better, I'll take that. Headhunter's Trophy, that's actually a really good one, a really good find for early... for early on. Okay, and that's the third Slith Necklace, I believe. Da, 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 fourth, actually. Very nice. I won't, I'm won't. i not going to exit from here just yet. Give me a few minutes. I need to check to see if there's a shrine in here, which there might be. There isn't. Okay. We can just exit from here. So yeah, that. I actually did mention in the guide this cavern I remember now. I actually mentioned it, and I said that it's optional, but you can do it if you want for some extra experience gear and whatever else. But you don't have to. Anyway, so what I did write in the guide, though, was once you have three slith necklaces that you've collected, go back to the White Mire Rift, and after that, you, what you want to do is you want to go over, um, sorry, t this way, go double back a little bit, go to the left, go right here, and you should see a little bit of an optional thing here. And then I'll show you something else, a little secret place with pretty good shoulder pads that I'll, um, I'll show you. Will these necklaces suffice? Thank you. He'll give you a ring, as I listed that in the uh, guide. He'll give you a decent ring, your first green ring, and it has elemental resistance, energy regen, and energy regen percent, and 10% damage to beast kind, which is pretty good. Pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Anything better here that we can buy? Probably, but it probably cost way too much. 
Yeah, nothing good actually that I can see. This is slightly better, but not much. Okay, let's go. Now, what you want to do is bend around the curve here. Fight off whatever you want to fight off. Skip it if you don't want to, but I want to fight them because more experience, and I'm very close to level 10 already, which is very nice. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this game. Like, there will be things that I don't know, many things. I don't know how most of the mechanics of the game work. By mechanics, I mean, like, how does spirit function, what damage does it increase, how does cunning work, what does it increase, how does physique work, what does it increase. I know what it increases physique. I know what physique increases health, for one, and health regeneration for two, but does it increase something else? It probably does. I'm not sure though. I think it increases defensive ability as well. Like, the description that they give you in the game is kind of vague, honestly. Now we're not going to go as a second class to Arcanus, not yet. We don't need to be that defensive yet, definitely not. Now go this way, bend around here, and come around. You'll see a bunch of, you'll see a few enemies here. Most importantly, you'll see a tree stump that's pretty obvious and pretty hard to miss. You see this tree stump out in the middle of nowhere? Click it. There you go, you get a bunch of good items, or hopefully good items, but they're... But hey, that's actually pretty good, I like that. Better than what I have. Even though it reduces uh, poison duration, my original belt, um... Doesn't matter, this one has poison and acid resistance, now we get it up to 36%. And that's pretty good. Taskmasters, Isaac Spalders. I'll take it, why not? Um, Infantry Greaves. Doesn't have movement speed. Has all damage, though. More poison and acid resistance. Is that the theme here? Is that the theme here? Okay, we're all good here. Now, to end off this video, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go back to Devil's Crossing. We're gonna go talk to, um, trying to remember, okay, talk to Luther Graves. We're going to talk to Barnabas. And then we're gonna go fight the, um, the Slith. Right after, actually, we talk to, um, Sybil, or I think that's her name. Yeah, Sybil. And she'll give you a green amulet. Much better than what you start off with, even though it says 5% less damage from ethereals, and you'll be fighting those a lot eventually. It's okay. The amulet that she gives you is very good. It gives, the most important thing here is the 5% health. The other thing is health regen. Health regen doesn't really help much unless you have a lot into health regen on the devotion tree, which I will go over a guide on how to make my devotion tree and everything. I mean, I already made a build video but I'll go over everything later on. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna go fight Villeth, and then we're gonna end it there, and that'll be a good video, I think. And that cleaving technique does just so much damage. It really does. It's really, really good. And just keep going on the bar as well. Just keep going. I'll tell you guys when to stop, but not yet. Mm hmm. Okay, let me see something here. Um, I don't remember which one I picked. I'm gonna have to look at my own like character, my other character, to see what I did and whatever else. Sorry, my allergies are just bad every day. It seems it's so annoying. The good thing about Blitz is that it can go really far. Like it'll travel really, really far. It's nice. I hate the Furies, though. Those guys are the absolute worst, and seriously, they heal on whenever they hit you. They do so much damage. It's just ridiculous. It really is. Oops, I don't need those. Inventory is getting kind of full here. Yes, I know I'm getting hit. I know. Don't you worry.
trying to avoid those stupid furies. I'll filter out the white since we don't need any more white gear now. Make sure to collect everything along the way. It'll help you. Everything goes a long way, honestly. See how much they heal? It's kind of ridiculous. So you, that blitz knocking them down and then beat their ass while they're down, it sounds brutal as hell when it is, but I don't care. Seriously, they're such a pain with how much they heal. Like, please, Crate, nerf the hell out of how much they heal. Especially in the earlier levels when they're just healing for all their health and we can't even really hit them and they're doing so much damage to us, it's kind of crazy. Ah, attack speed. That'll be pretty useful, even though it's a small amount, it's at least something. And I like it better than what we have. Boom. It says it reduces our DPS, but we're kind of slow attacking right now, and that'll help out just a little bit. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Before I fight Philip, though, I will show you, like, his special abilities and stuff, what he does. Like, like, um, I'll give a demonstration as best I can. Since I'm experienced and I know how to dodge kind of well. For the most part, I mean, I know, like, in all my Let's Plays, I'm, like, shit dodging. But it's because I'm being retarded and I really just don't care about dodging for the most part. I just take it like a man. Like a total stupid man. Ah, anyway. <laughs> Let's pick up that food ration and go. Watch how far this can go. I'll just zoom it out and... Uh, probably get up to level 11 before we get to Villith or maybe close. I don't know. It's all good. In the end, I'll do a devotion map. Like, I'll show you where every single devotion in a thing is. I'll try to, anyway. There are some that I refuse to get to. Like, I will not I will not go through hell to get them. Like, I don't want to actually get those devotion points. But I will try and get a whole bunch of them for you guys. At least 20 or 30 out of the 50, or at least I'll try. Because I don't know where all of them are. I don't know where most of them are. I have to look at a good guide for that and then write it down take some screenshots as well. Like, I'm actually probably not even going to show you where all the, the things are. This is this may be a Grim Dawn guide, but I'm only going to, like, say where certain things are. Like, I'll try and help you out as much as I can with what I know, but I don't have internet access right now, and yeah, it's for personal reasons I don't want to explain, so... I'm very limited in what I can do. See that circle? Get out of that. Don't get hit by that. See that wave? That'll freeze you or, and, and slow you in place. That poisonous uh, bolt that he just did there? Very deadly. Try and not get hit by that. It really hurts. Same thing with that wave. When you see him lift his tail, try and not get hit by that. Same thing with that poison. Try and not get hit by that. Literally, everything. Just try and not get hit by it. There we go. Tons of damage. Put up that overguard. You should be dead in the next one. Yep, there we go. Done and done. Hmm, that's really good and I like that a lot. Lots of health bonus there and... Boom, 1,259, almost 100 more health. I like that better. <laughs> Light radius versus uh, physique, yep. Okay, let's see. Wow, that's actually pretty good, I like that. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah, anyway, let's offer an Aether Crystal here, get some more experience. Plated Gauntlets. Um... Eh, I'll just keep what I have. Click the Mark Rock, Marked Rock. I accidentally took whatever that green item was. It's decent, but I don't want it. Okay, and that should conclude this build uh, video. Not build video. God damn it, Brandon. Guide video. <laughs> Jesus. Either way, it's a guide, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. So I don't know where that second one, Jillius, is. I actually don't know. So I'm gonna have to look that up later. And I'll see you guys then. 
Have a great day and have a great night. As always, friends channel in the description down below, and as always for this Let's Play, it's unmodded and it's um and the guide is in the description down below. I'll see you guys later. Brandon Kavalaka signing out. I'll see you guys then. See you in the next video. Bye guys, thank you for everything.